Hey fellow sports lovers and timeout lovers, and welcome to another episode of Time Out, a show anybody can watch about sports stats, facts, and everything in between. From a fan point of view, I'm your host Charlie, so let's go get this ball rolling. Time Out. Let's talk about some sports. How did I miss that? Oh, man, did we have some jaw-dropping, you can't believe this, matchups that happened yesterday on Wild Wednesday. So, time out. It's sports time. We begin the day with my Cubbies hosting those New York Mets for game 4-4 four, four of the NLCS. As the Mets shh, quieted all me and my Cubbies fans as Duda of New York goes and boom, homers one to the center. 420 feet to be exact to help Granson and Sapitas go on home for the Mets. Uh, then up next, DeAndre, DeAndre, who was uh, married that, go ahead and boom, homers, one to the right, woo -hoo! 402 feet to be exact, and my, my cubbies tried to, tried to finally arise in the fourth inning, as rookie own Kyle Schuaber goes ahead and Boom! Grounds one to first to help Solar get some cubby points up on the board. But the Mets come back with a vengeance, knocking out my Cubs. Um, in the top of the inning, Murphy goes ahead, and that superstar Murphy, you know him, goes in. Boom! Homers one to the center, 415 feet to be exact, to help to help Wright score one in for the Mets. Even with, even worth, the last minute, last resort, Cubs own, da -da 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 superstar Chris Bryant goes ahead and boom, homers one to the left. 421 feet to help Solar score, but it wasn't enough. It was too late. Sorry, Doc. You couldn't predict this one right. The Mets, unfortunately, as much as this hurts to say, beat my Cubbies eight to three and win the NLCS with a, go ahead and uh, get that broom on out of here because they definitely swept my Cubbies in a four and O series. Good luck, Mets. You have the golden ticket. Now you can relax and see who makes it onto the battlegrounds on the other side of that boom diamond. Congrats making it into the World Series. On to my next game, we head to Rogers Center in Toronto, Canada, eh? as them Jays hosted those comeback kids. Royals, as the game got it started in the second inning, as them Jays got the hottest started as Calabro goes ahead and boom, homers one to the left, to left center, 429 feet to get it to be exact to help get a solo. Go ahead and run, wave hot everybody, solo home run. The game looked like it was gonna be a shutout, fellow timeout lovers, especially in the seventh inning. When Jay's own Batista goes ahead and boom, boom, doubles one to deep right center to help Donaldson score one in for them Jays. But the Royals tried their hardest. KC tried to come back with KC's own King Perez go ahead and boom, homer wing one to the right. Woo hoo! 352 feet to be exact, but it wasn't enough as those Jays, boom, destroyed the Royals and forced a game six with a victory of seven, that's right, seven to one. And now, still with the Royals leading the series though, but the series now three 
to two. Man, talk about some amazing out of this world games we had yesterday on Wild Wednesday. Fantasy. Rock stars and not stars. Okay, fellow time out lovers, it's turn down for what? For what? Thursday. So that's right, it's another episode of Fantasy. Fantasy rock stars and not stars. We start off with my quarterback. Rock star Andrew Luck, who gave fantasy lovers a shocking 33, that's right, 33 points, not one, not two, but three touchdowns and 212 yards to keep. So keep them and definitely play them. My fantasy, mm, not star, is quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jamison Winston. <clears throat> who gave only fantasy point lovers 16 points. Um, if you own them, shelf them. My fantasy... Rock star running back is Devontae Freeman from the ATL Falcons with 100 rush yards, count them one touchdown last week, and gave fantasy owners a shocking that's right, fellow sports lovers, 27 points. Wow. Uh, with the Falcons going against an easy-going Titans defense, it's going to be a kick. My mm -mm, not star wide receiver is Titans Kendall Wright, uh, who only had 34 receiving yards and zero, count them, goose egg, nada, fantasy points last week and going against a non-stop, no-holds-bar ATL defense, shelf him, because this week, playing him is not right. My not, mm, 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 not star running back is Giants' own Richard Jennings, with only 63 rushing yards and only six, that's right, six points, and going against, still, even though he's going against an injured Cowboys, I just, after the after the fumbles the other day against the Eagles, I just don't see Eli giving him a chance. Uh, my fantasy... Rock star wide receiver is Baltimore's own Steve Smith Sr. With 137 rush yards, count them, one touchdown, and helped out fantasy lovers with a uh, shocking 19 points. Woo! He, this is definitely a stud. I I would play this week going against the Cardinals. My fantasy rock star tight end is are you ready for this fellow timeout lovers? It's Cleveland Browns own Gary Benaj with helping out fantasy lovers with a whopping 15 points Definitely, and don't forget about that insane touchdown he did the other day, the other week. Definitely someone you want to play next week against the Rams. And my fantasy tight end, not star, is Heath Miller of the Steelers. With only being targeted one time and giving owner fantasy point owners zero, count them goose egg points, if you have them, shelf them and especially going against the Chiefs. And my fantasy... Rockstar defense is the St. Louis Rams. Fresh off a of bye week and going against a Browns team that has allowed their quarterback, Josh McCowan, to be sacked. Are you ready for this timeout, lovers? 22, that's right, 22 times this season. The Rams are definitely a good team to play. My fantasy not star defense is the Kansas City Chiefs uh, with the defense allowing 24, that's right, 24 sacks for Alex Smith and losing Jamal Charles. It's really not helping the situation. 
And finally, my rock star, kicker for this week is New York Giants' own Josh Brown. With having 16 points last week, definitely a stud I would keep. My fantasy mm, not star is kicker for the Lions, Matt Prater, with only 13 points for fantasy owners last week. If you have them, bench them. So there you go, fellow timeout lovers. Those are my fantasy rock stars and not stars. It's pick 'em time. So here we go, fellow timeout lovers. Woohoo! With week seven about to get, begin tonight in the NFL, here we go. It's boom, pick 'em time. Okay, we start off with tonight on Thursday Night Football. We have the Seahawks going against the 49ers. I thought about this one back and forth, fellow timeout lovers, and I gotta go with the Seahawks. Uh, with having Marshawn Lynch even get a touchdown last week, even though they lost against the Panthers, uh, I feel like Cam Chancellor and Russell Wilson is just gonna step up their game, and I just don't believe in the 49ers right now. Okay, Sunday morning in 9.30 in London, we've got the Bears versus the Jaguars. <laughs> All right, thought about this one back and forth too, and I've got to go with the Bills. Uh, even though a lot of their players are injured right now, it's still, I just don't believe in Blake Bortles, and Julia Thomas is just not making it happen there. Okay, Vikings versus the Lions. I'm going to go with the Lions. I feel like this winning streak, unfortunately, it stunk that they beat my Bears. Uh, they're on a winning path right now with Golden Tate on fire, Calvin Johnson stepping up his game, um, Amara Abdullah. Uh, I definitely think the Lions are going to beat the Vikings. Saints versus the Colts. Thought about this back and forth too, and I got to go with the Colts. Andrew Luck, even after coming out of surgery, looked like a stud getting three touchdowns last week. Even though they lost to the Patriots, it was still an all-out battle, and I really think the Colts are coming back. All right, Steelers versus the Chiefs. Thought about this back and forth, but without Jamal Charles, Chiefs, I'm sorry, got to go with the Steelers. Texans versus my Dolphins. Gonna go with the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. If they play any way like they played last week with the offense and the defense looking elite, the Texans better watch out for this new style of the fish. Okay, Jets versus the Pats. I feel like the Jets are on fire this year. Their offense is looking elite. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a Superman stud, especially connecting with Brandon, mm, as much as I hate to say it, Marshall. Uh, and Chris Ivory's looking like Superman. And honestly, their coach, Todd Bowles, a pick. But you can't go wrong with number 12, Tom Brady. And can't hate the game, don't hate the game, hate the player. And I got to respect game. And I got to go with the Patriots. Okay, Rams versus the Browns. I'm going with the St. Louis Rams. Uh, something's in the water there in St. Louis. Nick Foles is playing some incredible football right now. Falcons versus the Titans. I'm going to go with the Falcons. Uh, even though they're lost to, to um, the Saints the other day, um, I really feel like they are definitely stepping up their game. And the Falcons are elite. The Titans are not. Bucks versus the Redskins. I'm going to go with the Redskins. Uh, Kirk Cousins is finally getting stuff working in in Washington. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Redskins. Raiders versus the Chargers. I uh, thought about this. And I'm going to go with the Chargers. Phillip Rivers, Antonio Gates has lately been on fire. I'm going with the Chargers. Cowboys versus the Giants. I'm going with the Giants. I mean, I really feel like they can get a win, especially with a completely injured Cowboys team. Uh, Eagles versus the Panthers. Thought about this back and forth, and I'm going with, uh, gonna like this, I'm going with the Panthers, actually. Um, I'm, I wasn't a believer before, but after they destroyed the Seahawks the other day, in overtime, I'm a believer. I'm gonna go with the Panthers. And finally, for Monday Night Football, it's the Ravens versus the Cardinals. Thought about this back and forth, and I'm gonna have to go with the Cardinals. Carson Palmer's on fire on my fantasy. Larry Fitzgerald, stud beyond studs, also on my fantasy. 
and I just think that they're just making it happen in Arizona. Well, there you go. Those are my picks for week seven of the NFL. My show fellow sports lovers and timeout lovers, thanks for watching. If you really like what I'm talking about, then go and give me those thumbs up. Or if you really feel me, then why haven't you subscribed yet? Or you can always leave me a comment below the video here and don't forget to hit me up on social media on Facebook at Charles Cowan Timeout as well as Twitter on time, at TimeoutNow87. Until next time, Timeout! Let's talk about some sports. Woo Have an awesome, wonderful weekend. Can't wait to talk about sports on Monday with you.